So how does one get on the dark web? The easiest way is to download and install the Tor browser. It's at torproject.org. Never download from another source, as there are many copies infected with malware. The browser is based on Firefox. You can surf the web just like any other browser, except all your traffic is automatically routed through the Tor network. Once the Tor browser is installed, you can now access those .onion darknet sites. And you're ready to visit the dark web. Here's a quick demonstration. OK, let's quickly show you how you actually can get on the dark web. Right, first of all, you need a browser. Uh, you need a special sort of browser to get on the dark web, and you will get it from a particular place. It's called torproject.org. You can see that's torproject.org. Um, and you see there's a download Tor, and it'll detect what um, operating system you've got. Please, please, please don't download it from anywhere else. There's loads of hacked and um, virus riddled copies of the um, Tor browser all over the place. So don't go to download sites, don't go to other different repositories or anything like that. Go to torproject.org. Don't, don't download it from anywhere else. That's very important. Okay, so once you've downloaded that, <clears throat> it takes a couple of minutes. It's not hard. You can select an express installation so you don't even have to make any uh, decisions. You will have the Tor browser and you will be on the dark web. So you won't notice a huge amount of difference apart from obviously the content. Um, most of the all the web pages will end in .onion, okay, it's rather than .html. Um, this is one of the main pages people start on. It's called the Hidden Wiki. It's like a underground wiki page. Uh, remember, all of these websites don't exist on single servers. They're all completely anonymous. That's obviously why um, people use them. If you scroll down here, you'll find loads of places to buy stolen credit cards, um, PayPal accounts, um, fake passports. There you are. Do you want a fake passport, fake IDs, all stuff like that. Um, lots of privacy and um, encryption related stuff there. Um, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of pages all over the place. Um, uh, lots of obviously porn and stolen stuff, drugs, you name it, it's on there. Some of it is pretty nasty stuff, so um, be careful where you wander on the dark web. There's all sorts there. Um, let me just show you a couple then and say the, the uh, deep wikis, um, the hidden wiki is a good place to start. Let me just close that for a minute. Uh, here we can see something called War Market. Lots of um, sites there are uh, um, hidden underground markets, things like the Silk Road. This one's called Wall Street Market, where you can buy and see lots of drugs or carding software. So if you wanted to be a cyber criminal, you could get all the gear you want here. For fraud and digital goods, there's, there's sort of serious stuff as well. Um, again, sometimes it can be a bit slow. Remember, you're not a traditional web. It's not a traditional client-server model here. These websites are stored on various different um, PCs and servers, so um, it can sometimes be a bit slow. It's a lot quicker than it used to be, though. Um, and different software malware there, and you can buy well counterfeit, you name anything there what we got here's another thing here's a um, place to buy guns you can buy lots of there's lots of gun shops on the dark web there's some that specialize in just european um how they deliver them i really don't know um but there we go we can go and buy a a newsie a heckler and koch Swiss and smith and western you know it's a bit weird for a, a uk person but Maybe not for somebody from the US, but here's all these different sort of um, sites. So that's basically it. Um, there's so much on there, um, but be careful where you go because a lot of it is extremely illegal, obviously. So browse and buy at your own risk. Okay, thanks for watching. But if you plan to buy anything from a darknet marketplace, then you should take further precautions. First, you'll need a VPN to hide your access to the dark web. Your visits will be visible to your ISP without one. Enable the VPN before starting Tor browser. It will hide your connection. It's called Tor over VPN, 
and it encrypts your data before sending it to the Tor network. You'll also need a fake identity to make any purchases safely. First create a new email on an encrypted email service. There are lots like ProtonMail and you can find a selection on the hidden wiki. Choose a pseudonym to use on the dark web for usernames and passwords. Make it unique so it's not the same as any other account you use on the normal web. You should create an anonymous Bitcoin wallet for making anonymous purchases. Plus disable JavaScript on your Tor browser. To do this, open a new tab in the Tor browser, go to the address field and type about colon config. Then search for JavaScript and you'll find javascript.enabled. Double click that and change it from true to false. And remember, enable that VPN before you connect to the Tor network. Identity Cloaker works perfectly with the dark web and keeps no logs at all. You can grab a discount code from http.identityvoucher.co.uk